Hey Tacoma fans, today let's talk about Tacomas and towing. So the Tacoma is great. It's got a V6, 4.0 liter, 236 horsepower motor. Now this happens to be a pre-runner, so it's two-wheel drive. Uh, the the two-wheel drive is 3,700 pounds or so. The four-wheel drive is just shy of 4,000 pounds. So the power to weight ratio is great on a Tacoma. Uh, a couple of things I'm going to talk about is one, this boat here, which is just shy of about 4,000 pounds, and uh, and then a travel trailer that we rented for it was a 22 footer. That thing was 4,500 pounds. Talk about my experiences towing that, and then also talk about what I've done to the Tacoma to make a better towing rig for all my adventures. All right, so here's the Tacoma. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I've done with the truck to make it a good tow rig. So one is, this is not necessary, but I put a, a light switch in here to uh, pick up some bright LED lights in the back for when I'm connecting the trailer in the dark. I also put in a, an electronic brake controller, trailer brake controller, which is necessary when you've got electronic brakes, of course. Now I also, let's see, this is not necessary either, but it is quite convenient. I've got a doubled in stereo system in here and that allows me to connect a rear camera, which is pretty fantastic when I'm connecting the trailer. Now, it's hard to show in here, but I've got a, um, I've got a, uh, uh, kind of a couple of overload springs on the, on the back, on the rear axle of the truck which allows for the truck to carry more of the tongue weight more easily uh, from a boat or any, any other sort of trailer. And then here are these backup lights, which again, they're fantastic when you are trying to connect something in the dark or you're just out behind your truck and at night working on this and um, uh, lights up the whole back area where you can see what you're doing better. Now, this happens to be a Dakota, Tacoma TRD Sport and it comes with a trailer uh, uh, towing harness. It comes with this right here, just a seven pin connection. Now I've got an adapter here, which, where is this? Okay, so I've got this adapter here, which allows me to go from seven pin to a five pin. This trailer happens to have disc brakes and with disc brakes, you need five pins so that you can turn off <clears throat> Or sorry, so that you can um, so that you can disengage those trailer brakes as you're backing uh, as you are backing it up. Otherwise, those brakes will engage and you can't back the thing up. And then here is my Anderson trailer hitch or trailer tow ball stinger, whatever you want to call it. It's fantastic. Love this thing. You can adjust it easily. You're towing someone else's trailer, uh, towing a different trailer. You just uh, just pull the pin out and raise it, lower it as needed. Got the backup camera going so that I can get right where I need to be with the trailer hitch on the first shot. And here it is after having it lined up with the camera that I've got right here in the tailgate. The, the overload springs are actually quite important because if without them, the, uh, the back of the truck will sink quite a bit and then your steering gets light. That means your steering will get really, um, it will get light because the front end of the truck ends up higher in the air and your steering geometry is thrown off. So I highly recommend some sort of an overload spring, whether it's an air or an add a leaf type spring the this Tacoma is as it sits is just under 2,800 pounds 3,800 pounds pardon me 3,800 pounds for a similar f-150 we're talking about 52 to 5,400 pounds I believe two-wheel drive v8 engine the interesting thing is the small Ford v8 is less powerful than this engine Okay, so when you're towing, you want to be able to see the trailer behind you, right? 
One thing that I've noticed about having the mid-size truck is that the, the truck itself is narrower, which means that my mirrors and my visibility to the back of the truck, to the trailer, is going to be more limited, especially on the highway and as I'm turning and backing up. Uh, there are ways to get around this, but I just wanted you to know that the overall width of the Tacoma from outside mirror to outside mirror is about 83 and a half inches and on a full-size f-150 and I'm just picking the f-150 is it's a very popular truck and just as a simple comparison but the overall width on that one is about 97 inches so your net uh, your net difference is 13 and a half inches narrower on the Tacoma outside mirror to outside mirror which translates into some loss in visibility from the back or to the back with your trailer Okay, I'm just driving along here and I just wanted you to notice that the that my boat is considerably wider than the truck. So that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about with the mirrors. And so a couple of things that I wanted to bring up and the reason that I'm comparing this to a full-size truck is I guess probably ideally you would use a full-size truck. Um, it's just wider. It's a little more stable. It's heavier so it the trailer will not boss boss the truck around on windy roads and whatnot however if you don't tow all the time it sure is nice to have a slightly smaller vehicle with better gas mileage and is easier to get uh, in and out of parking lots and um, and even on trails on uh, off-road etc so so a couple of things to think about now I will say that my my uh, the most difficult experience that I had with the truck and towing was when we towed a 22 foot uh, a 22 foot travel trailer now uh, the difference between a travel trailer and a boat of course is that with a boat it's much narrower at the front versus a travel trailer which is just as wide at the front as it is at the back so that's going to impede your visibility in the back another thing about the travel trailer is man it catches a lot of wind um, there's so much side there's so much surface area on the side of that thing so if you are traveling somewhere where it's windy and it happened to be the case for us where it was windy while we we're driving through some mountain passes um, it can start to tell the truck what to do more on the road so it's not the trailer that I towed with the truck with the Tacoma however if you look at it you just get an idea of you've got this giant surface area and when the wind is blowing against this whole trailer, uh, it can start to boss around your tow rig. So personally, I think my limit with the Tacoma is probably around the 22 foot mark. You could tow more, but it's rated for more, but I'm not sure that I would endorse that. Now, I'll also say that when I did tow with the Tacoma I had a load distribution hitch I would absolutely recommend that too it just helps with the handling of the vehicle overall so these are my thoughts and uh, my experiences that I wanted to share with you with the Tacoma and towing hey if you found this helpful uh, or uh, picked out picked up any information on your own on uh, for yourself on this with this video please hit the like subscribe button appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one thanks